and hello everyone and welcome back to a quick episode of Ghostmaster. Uh, figured I wanted to hop back on here during the day of all times to uh, really quickly go over... <laughs> Strike that! Turns out we're gonna play that level again. I was like half asleep and I didn't sound very enthusiastic and I actually really screwed up the level. So I'm gonna play this one again and show you how it should be done, then at the end I'll kinda edit in clips of how horribly I failed. Uh, so this gives me an opportunity to show you off, uh, show off how the replay function works. As you can tell, the level I actually was playing is gone. These are the two levels from the next act, which uh, I'll splice in the end from the previous recording and so you'll see that pop up and all that. Uh, but to play old levels, you click high scores, or high scares, ooh, they're so clever, uh, and click revisit on whichever level we're on. So, here's Blair Wisp Project, the right way. The Darkling requires more lost souls in order to be free. On a commission from the university, Three foolish filmmakers have entered the forest in search of a legend, driven by greed. Lead them to the cabin and get them to perform the summoning ritual again. The Darkling will soon be ours to command. Alright, so the goal here in this one large area is to simply lead these three uh, filmmakers from the beginning to the cabin uh, without them being scared away. Uh, fairly simple overall, uh, I somehow managed to screw it up, uh, but yes, we'll, uh, we'll hopefully get through this much faster. Um, so we actually don't want our usual scares, Buck is practically useless here. What we really want is people who can... Uh, Attract. Um, also, we want Firetail, which for reasons you'll see in a bit. Uh, we also want Blue Murder, and Terrorize is good, and Harriet, and Knuckles, and really the rest don't matter. Um, so let me just take Wind and Water people, because why not? Their powers combined, we are actually starting. Lead the filmmakers to the cabin and get them to repeat the ritual. Alright, so as you can see, we have four hunters. Moonscream doesn't count because Moonscream was the previous one. Uh, and uh, we have this one here. Well met, stranger. If thou can hear me, I am known as Sparkle. This is a guy, by the way. This campfire was to be but a brief dalliance, but as soft convection roasted above me, I fell into restful sleep. When I awoke, the fire had burned down to naught. I implore thee, reignite it that I may leave. Your kindness would be repaid. Alright, and obviously enough, you just need to reignite the fire. Nothing too hard about that. And then we have this guy, who has an amazing voice actor. Three centuries hence, this foolish wisp cruelly wronged the powerful witch. My fate was sealed. I was cursed to the worst punishment a wisp can befall, to never be seen by mortal eyes. Imprisoned within a ring of trees, I can only be freed once the curse has been denied. So also simple enough from his little explanation, you just need to get the uh, people over here to look at him. So let's work on that first. Thankfully, we have tons of plasma to work with, so no worries there. And I have actually made a serious mistake by not bringing uh, Weather Witch. Is that her name? I think that's her name. Uh, this one, usually you combine her and the other uh, air ghost to uh, clear this. Then you use Siren Song. Oops. Uh, then you use Siren Song to bring them over, but actually Siren Song is not strong enough, if that makes sense. You need Hypnotic Image to actually bring them across the lake, otherwise they will simply gain fear from crossing through the water for some reason. And uh, yeah, it's no good. Oh, do we see? I had forgotten the pleasure so tenderly, and now my curse is lifted, I am indebted to you. 
<laughs> I love how like aloof he seems with his eyes just rolling back into his head as he banters on. Alright, uh, not charging gift, you don't need that. Ethereal gift. Uh, I did do a bit of upgrading after the previous uh, previous recording, uh, but it didn't really make too much of a difference. I actually couldn't find much worth buying. The previous time, I bound uh, what's his face, Firetail, to these electrical fetters they have over here, then used Bonfire when they walked over here. Oh. That was not good. Same. Oh, I was so cold and sad. Thank you for your aid. I'll help however I can. Yeah, because uh, they were just sitting here, cozying around the campfire, and all of a sudden, everything lit on fire. So, yeah, it was not really the best choice there. Oh, uh, so let's look at their path here. They follow the actual path, and they want to cross this bridge. But, oh no, the bridge is out. So, how do we let them cross the bridge? Well, we take these guys who we normally would not bring to a level like this, bind them to these bear traps. Nice breath. Uh, make sure they're only using the power of their current power band so they don't go scaring everyone away. And voila, we have frozen the world. Uh, for some reason, it does not affect the lake or the island in the middle of it. Uh, but we have frozen the river solid. So, should they ever wander back over here, they will turn the other direction. Uh, no, not turn the other direction. Normally they would turn the other direction. They will cross it and continue on. I don't even know why I said turn the other direction. Um, so we'll see if we can drag them across here with Fascinate. And while that's going on, let's knock this tree over. As you can see, I, I am like, I want to get this over with quickly, but they take a long time to walk anywhere. And I screwed it up royally last time, so really would rather not have to do it again. <laughs> Alright, tree is knocked over. Fairly certain they are safe. Why are they... What? No. Why are they examining things like this? Here, let's get them moving with Hypnotic Image. Thankfully, uh, Blair Wisp, who is otherwise pretty useless, binds outside. So pretty much just anywhere. Uh, hypnotic image brings people from a place and will build up their belief in the process. Strange vision pops up, they scare, and fluster just sets people up uh, to be nervous, uh, which is these I can't actually zoom in. Whoops! Uh, these times twos that floating around uh, that float around people, and those pretty much mean they'll just be uh, twice as scared by anything you throw at them. There's also calm, which is butterflies, which is really hard to tell the difference. Um, in the zoomed out view, but that pretty much means they're slowly losing their fear, and anything you throw at them will have to reset them to default scaredness, if that word makes any sort of sense. Alright, they were moving in the right direction, so hopefully they will continue to do so. No? No! Where are you going? Why are you walking in that direction? This is almost worse than the previous time. <laughs> they have to go to the fire first. Or are they not... No, okay, they are going to the campfire. Engage hyperspeed. Disengaging hyperspeed for a second because I forgot to introduce the, uh, the point of this whole level, which is the Darkling. Oh, okay, he picked up the gift. Now, as you can see, we technically also have Moon Scream here, so as we'll talk to her. Yeah, okay, we've listened to that already. Uh, because this is the same level, they stick um, ghosts that appear in both. So uh, later on, there is a level that is the uh, police station again, and you can once again save Bonsai, Blue Murder, and Electro uh, Spasm. So yeah, what is, what is so fascinating about this bear trap? Oh good, she's being uh, properly fascinated. Alright, uh, so let me just engage And, uh, we'll let this hyperspeed again. What the- 
What did she do? Oh, she tried to walk across. Oh. Whoops. She tried to walk across the lake here, and for some reason that scares people. I'm not sure why. But anyway, now they're walking in the right direction in gay type speed. <laughs> did not know that making it snow causes people to hurry up, so... Huh. Who would have guessed? Um, I'm actually not going to splice in the stuff from the previous uh, recording, because I was thinking about it, and actually I just got really annoyed, and it wasn't very funny. It, it was essentially... I ac oh, Shut up. I accidentally scared one of these people, uh, the guy in the blue hat. Oh, okay, the guy in the blue shirt and the blue hat. And he ran all the way back to the beginning and then had to walk back. Then when he got here, I accidentally did something that scared him again, and he ran most of the way back before I shut off the cold, and so he couldn't recross the river, and then he had to walk all the way back. It was really aggravating, and I can't believe I did it twice. Um, the first time... I don't even know what I did. I think I accidentally made it storm too hard, and then the second time... No, no. Oops. No. There we go. Uh, the second time, I'm actually not sure what I did. Um, I may have accidentally done something with the Dark Link. Okay, they are down in the basement. Alright, and they have seen Woundscream. Haha! Bonus points! Oh no, he's going back upstairs. Did I scare him again somehow? Did I... Okay, I was gonna say, did I against all odds manage to scare him again? But no, I just got him stuck on the stairs. Alright! Oh, I got him, like, really stuck on the stairs. This happened last time too, actually. Um... Not the guy getting stuck on the stairs, he came right down when he actually got here, but this camera thing where it flickers back and forth and back and forth and back and forth like this. And it's really, oh god, ah, oh wow, that is terrible. I really hope I did not cause seizures in some of you or anything like that, because that was really, really terrible. Okay, well, <laughs> success, and actually in very quick time, and we got all the ghosts, so sweet. You're just making good use of uh, the various obsession slash fascinate slash intrigue, whatever abilities to move people around, use cold to get them across the river, and uh, use the gift to light the fire while they're not around so you don't scare them. Simple stuff. Dun, dun, dun! So much for the pitiful humans and whatnot. You have succeeded in your task, but it seems the demented professor was one step ahead of us. We shall attempt to rescue once we have found where the Darkling has been taken. All right. As you can see, we actually did not get the Darkling. Uh, like, it shows that he is an available ghost that we missed, which is not the case. Um, however, he shows up in another level and we do go chase him, so that is how that works. He is supposed to be missed, despite the fact that it shows him here. Um, unfortunately, he only shows up in one other level, and even after you unlock him, if you go and replay other previous levels, he's not an option because those levels always come before the one where you free him and actually get him as a ghost. And in the level where you free him and get him as a ghost, there is like one, maybe two uh, fetter places for him. So he's almost impossible to use. 
which is a real shame because he has some great abilities uh, and just he looks awesome. But uh, yeah, a shame that potential squandered. We we do not get to have fun with the Darkling. But anyway, five uh, pumpkin or well three pumpkins. But it's times five, and I got three thousand additional plasm on top of the one thousand something I got the first time and got one pumpkin. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, and with that, I will uh, say goodbye. I will splice in the end so you can see the uh, haunters we got from... Well, actually, now here, let me go and show you the haunters we got from moving to the next act. And since we haven't been to the ghoul room in a while, and this uh, is going to end up being pretty short otherwise. So, we got... <laughs> look around so I don't forget anyone. Aha! Lady Rose, another mirror ghost who pretty much has the same uh, types of abilities as the previous Mirror Ghost, and thus is kinda pointless. But, uh, you know, they tried. Then we have the Painter. So lazy, but also kind of hilarious, and his epitaph is, is kinda funny. Um, and then we got, oh yes, Old Man Carter who I don't think I've ever used. He has pretty much the same kinds of abilities as here, Ghastly and Knuckles, but actually after this point, there's really no reason to have either Ghastly or Knuckles. So he, this guy doesn't come up into play very often uh, either, which is a shame because uh, those kinds of abilities tend to be kind of fun, especially, uh, which one? Oop, not that. Dance Macabre. Uh, macabre, but whatever. Which, uh, works like Dominate, which you saw in the Alpha Tau Fraternity House, but it does it to everyone in a room, so kind of fun. Uh, and out here, you can see that we do actually have room for several more ghosts, uh, and we'll see those as we play along. So, with that, thank you for watching. I will see you folks next time. Uh, whoops, no. Just trying to quit. No, no, world weird. Get out of my way. Uh, and I believe next we will be playing uh, Spooky Hollow. Out of the choice of Spooky Hollow and Ghost Breakers, which you can guess what those are parodies of. Spooky Hollow didn't try very hard. Anyway, see you then.